right, here we go. They finally started construction. I see pipe on the left. So they're gonna be doing something with sewers. So maybe they're not doing sidewalks. But I also see a bunch of trees tagged too. So I think they're gonna pull a bunch of these trees down. Morning guys, it is construction season. <laughs> uh, today's weather forecast. Overcast and cloudy for the majority of the day. Partly sunny later on in the afternoon. Highs today, I think in uh, like uh, 17, which is 14, 3, 64, 64 degrees, somewhere around there. So a fairly cool day. I complain when it's too hot. I complain when it's rainy. I complain when it's too cold. But this, this is just right. <laughs> this is perfect for working in. All right, so today on the road construction update, it looks like we are hacking down some trees. All these trees over here, they had marked with uh, pink ribbons. They're pulling all those down. Uh, probably need to move them for whatever they're doing, but wow, that's a big tree. There's some big trees over there. And of course, the sound of that chainsaw is music to this haunter's ears. Well, we got another package today, but this one here was expected. Um, I've been having problems with uh, my computer modem. Sometimes it would, uh, well, I told you guys about that. Sometimes it would trip out. This is several weeks ago, I told you. And uh, they said that I needed new ones. I'm like, oh gosh, I really don't have to rent a new modem. So what I did is I started checking and um, I was gonna go with CenturyLink because they had uh, pretty good prices. Because, oh, the other uh, determining factor is uh, I was on like this uh, two-year promotion, and then the promotion ended, so they wanted to charge me almost $200. It wasn't that, well, it was like $165 for just above basic cable service, and I don't watch TV anyway, above and beyond The Walking Dead. Everything else I catch online, because I never catch it when it's live, um, except NASCAR, sometimes. And, uh, and the modem, that's all I need. I need internet service and I needed a little bit of cable and that was it. And that's a lot to pay per month. So I called them up and said, hey, you know, I'm looking at CenturyLink, this is way too much and my modem is going out so I was gonna rent one and I need to upgrade my cable box because I've got a HD television now and I didn't have an HD television before. Um, so I need to get a new cable box and I'm like, I'm not paying more. So what do they do? They give me an outstanding rate, included the modem rental, included the cable box rental. So it's like, okay, I'll sign a year contract with you guys. I've been with them since 2004. So a year contract is not a big deal. Anyway, they sent me my new equipment. So we're going to get this all hooked up. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be right if I didn't show the corn. Look, we're almost touching. Look at that. <laughs> it's getting so big. It's getting kind of creepy too. I'm really becoming the corn dude. I know that was corny, but you know. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't make me stalk you. Okay, I'll stop, seriously. So I know once I disconnect the modem and the router, I lose all internet in the house. And I know that I'm gonna have problems hooking this up because nothing ever goes as smoothly as they say it does. But okay, optimistically thinking, okay, It'll be fine. I'll plug this in and everything will just like synchronize up and I'll enter a password and we'll be done, right? Oh, look at that. It's doing stuff. I think it's supposed to be doing stuff. Wow, that sure is huge. But, but that also takes, um, takes the place of my old modem and router. So this is like an all-in-one unit. It's just going to flash for up to 20 minutes. And then I just forgot, I forgot. That that whole extra charge on my checking account the other day. I need to go down and take care of that. I have to go to a branch and bring some paperwork that I filled out. I didn't do this. This isn't my fault. I'm having to spend a lot of time on this. <laughs> yes, again with the... Well, I've got this little corner of the desk kind of cleared up a little bit. Not as... Uh, not as... Uh, not messy. It wasn't messy. It was just like cluttered. Not as cluttered as it was, so... I need to go through and, I mean, look guys, I've got folders back here dating back to like 2011 West Coast Hunters Convention and stuff like that. So I need, I need to go through this stuff. Not now, because I've got other things I need to be doing now, including going down to the bank. So while this takes time to process, almost activated. You should be able to connect in under 20 minutes. 
Well, it's been five and I'm impatient, so I don't like to waste time, so I want to not waste time. I'm going to go and get this taken care of. I have handled the stuff at the bank. Now I just have to wait. And now I'm going to get some grass seed and some propane so we can have some fire. Yeah. Oh my, it's corn. <laughs> More corn. All right, so I got my propane and grass seed and my bananas. Yum. So I think I'm set now. I have to go and set sprinklers up in the backyard. I have to reseed the backyard again. It's just like, I know there's a right way to do it of like, you know, tilling up the ground and mixing the seeds in with the topsoil and actually putting topsoil in, which I don't have in the backyard. It's just dirt and rocks. But that takes more time. So just take more grass seed and throw it on top and eventually you'll, eventually it'll take because I've had a nice green lush yard before. So I know that I can get it back. Anyway, I'm just creating more things to do. And what I really need to do is just stop doing all this other stuff and just buckle down and edit. Cause I've got lots of videos to edit. So I'm at the gas station getting gas and I see this mouse in this window. Look, it's a little mouse. <laughs> That's so funny. Checking things off the list. I got grass seed. Didn't get it at Lowe's, but I got it. I did finish setting up the internet, connecting both computers and connecting the scale right over there to to my Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh wow, that's an awesome picture. That's spooky. One step at a time. And no music this whole time either. That drives me nuts. Well, out with the old. It's really loud, I can't talk right now. I'm putting this in the back of the truck. I was gonna go and scrap pieces off of it because there's like brass there and then this handle right here is stainless. This is aluminum, but to sit there and strip all this stuff off, even Buffy agrees, it, it, there's just so much time involved. So I'm just gonna throw it in the back of the truck and just dump it all uh, when I do the next scrap run. It just makes sense. Out with the old, in with the new, right? There we go. She's in. I don't have the time or the energy. It's gotten sun, it's gotten water. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we have a, a grill to put together. We now have an empty spot to receive said grill. We have a yard that needs to be mowed prior to putting seed down before I put water down. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mow it, and then I'm going to seed it, and then I'm going to water it. Oh, and, we have somebody uh, coming to pick up these panels on Saturday. So that'll be one more thing out of the way. And then once that's out of the way, I'll seed underneath there too. And then if the prop car doesn't sell, then it's gonna get scrapped and thrown in the back of the truck too. So things are changing. Things are getting restored. This is what happens when you have a haunt in your backyard. All my grass used to look like, um, like this. Yes, it had clovers in it. That's why I said it looks like this, but clovers are green. So when you have a sea of green clovers and grass, it looks good, and this doesn't anymore. I know you can't tell, but what there is of it, the yard is mowed. Now the seed, I'm spread grass seed all over. And look at that, we have a sunset tonight. The sun is going down, so that means we have to hurry. Hopefully I can get this on uh, digital media. Buffy is trying to eat the seeds as they come out of, of this thing here, watch. Funny. See if I can't catch it. Hey 
Hellions, it is time for COC, commenting on comments, or cock for short, and I'm sorry if that is the case. Uh, first comment of the night, Cap Zone 2, you say, I still win. Whoa, you didn't say, I still won, you said, I still win. You stole that from Jolson. Ow, Buffy, hi. What's up, dog? Literally. Hi. What's up? Speak? Speak? Whisper. 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 Hey. Ah, sit. Whisper. Whisper. Good girl. Whisper. Good girl. Now go lay down. On your bed. Go girl. Okay. Now we can continue with COC. Mon E. Uh, oh, Angie and Troy, your first argument. Dis it wasn't an argument. It was just, it was a funny disagreement. Um, and it's on YouTube. I personally agree with Angie on this one. But then again, Troy is American. So we're going to have lots and lots of laughs when you guys are finally together permanently. Can't wait. Neither can we. And uh, most of you guys sided with Angie saying that chili popcorn did not sound good including Judy Hart and Halloween Mischief, amongst others. <laughs> Real fan Jason, blech. I agree with Angie, no chili popcorn. Although I do like chili cheese Fritos, maybe chili cheese popcorn. Cheese makes most things better. Yes, it does. And just recently, I think that I've been, um, I think I'm becoming a lactose intolerant, but I will never give up my cheese. Never. <laughs> I love cheese. Ah, Jason McDougal. Thank you. The chili popcorn did look pretty good. Right? It was. It was the bomb. And Angie yourself. <laughs> Blah, chili popcorn. <laughs> Patrick R. McConnell. Hey, Troy and Angie. Patrick R. McConnell here. Uh, going back to the raccoon situation, there was a video out a few years ago that a lady was in her kitchen and through her doggy door um, came this raccoon and started to eat and was eating the dog food while she sat there filming just a few feet away from. I have been chatting with her on Facebook in a chat room. They sometimes have not fear, just saying. Thanks for the videos and enjoy the grill. Yes, sometimes raccoons don't. And that same raccoon was out there yesterday too. And I chased it. <laughs> I, and it ran, so that was a good thing, I'm glad. It would suck if it, like, engaged me. Years ago, there was a raccoon out here that attacked a dog. It was bad. All right, guys. Happy hunting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up, subscribe, I guess, and, and do all that fun stuff because all that fun stuff is really fun. If you thumbs up, good things will happen to you that day. Seriously, try it. You'll see. <laughs> see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Uh, so... Uh, you're, you're, you're watching the Hellmouth vlog, and, um, I'd like you to like, like, there's a lot of likes in there, uh, and, and uh, subscribe, and thumbs up, don't thumbs down, or I'll come to your house, and get you with my stick, and, uh, so, uh, I go in there, right, all right, ha ha happy, happy, happy haunting! <laughs>